Amen. We're so honored to be here with you to celebrate social impact and the music, the cultures, the voices behind social impact. We want to start with a song to acknowledge all of those voices that have been part of the positive change that exists today and the positive change that we all continue to work towards. This is a song known as the American Indian Movement Song. Yeah. Thank you. At this time, we've got a very special guest. We brought our father, Jones Benali. He is, everybody usually asks us, how old is he? Honestly, we don't really know, but he is. But honestly, he doesn't know either. Probably in his <laughs> 90s, remembers the, the Great Depression, a lot of amazing, beautiful history. And the dance that he's going to share with you is called the hoop dance. It's a very special dance that signifies all four directions. There's a lot of meanings and patterns within this dance. And the dancer is a healer. For our culture, this dance is done in the winter time as a ceremonial way of assisting and helping a patient, somebody that's sick. But we wanted to, to bring this to you to share this dance to let you know what we're still carrying on as indigenous people with, with in, I guess, the uh, United States of America. A lot of people don't recognize that they're still many different tribes and nations, over 567, 64, it always changes. So. If we're gonna talk about the federally recognized and the unfederally recognized, yeah. there are so many. And I think, you know, just, just to say real quick, it's so important to learn about the indigenous peoples that, that care took the land that one lives on. Um, and the, the, the indigenous peoples who still, 
who still are in your area as well. I know we have people from all over the world here. And this That's dance represents all those sacred colors of humanity, of the world, of all the plants, animals, a lot of history. Without further ado, please welcome Joan Spinelli, the Navajo Hoop Dance. <laughs> Oh, 
This next song is for all of our future generations. As indigenous people, we think about not just our future, the, our plan of today. We have to think about our children, their children, and their children's children for seven generations. Think about the decisions that we make. So today, our children all across the world, that should be our priority number one. Caring, loving, ensuring that they have you know, oftentimes we hear people say that the youth, that they are our future. And it's, it's kind of frustrating when, when I hear my daughter say, wait, wait, why are you leaving a mess for us to clean up? We, if we're the future, then, you know, you are adults. You're supposed to be responsible. You're supposed to clean up after yourself. You're supposed to take care and prepare, you know, as parents, that's our responsibility. Or these older generations, we don't have to leave these messes for our future generations. Now is the time to act. We don't have to think about, oh, for the future, we're going to 
at some point clean up this room or clean up this mess or fix climate change, these issues that we have within our world. Now is the time. We have to be responsible. Mother Earth, we identify her, identify her as Shema Nohosan, our mother, living, breathing entity, very sacred. And that respect for our mother, something that we carry through as indigenous cultures, just always remember, you know, when our mother, when she speaks to us, we have to listen, have that respect. It's called listening.
to lose. Will there ever Only frustration forced to choose. Response without communication. But why are we listening? Why are we listening? to lose. for you is a collaboration song we had the uh, and we we still have the distinct honor of being cultural ambassadors for the American music abroad uh, which is really exciting because it means that we get to use our music as an act of diplomacy in different countries and this song was a collaboration with a group from uh, Peru, a Quechua group called Uchpa. And so this song is called Corazon Contento, but it's also sing, uh, it's also sung in Quechua. So if we have any Quechua speakers here, I don't think so. Oh, we do! So we'll, we, we'll try our best. We'll do our best. We'll Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the sun rises little by little for us on content This next song that we're going to do for you is called Take a Stand. And we're going to bring our father, Jones Benali, back out to sing with us. This song, when we look at, you know, for me, my role models, my heroes were our matriarchal society, our, our elders. My grandmother, Roberta Blackgoat, Catherine Smith. So many beautiful people that brought not only just the message of our people about how we are all children of this earth. But the teaching that she gave to me was that this, this earth where we live in Black Mesa, the coal, it was something that was valued far beyond our life and they tried to remove us and relocate us. So our, our grandmother resisted, it was known as the grandmother of resistance. And when, they, when she would teach us, we'd go to protests, we went to DC, we sang the AIM song there behind the White House at Ellipse Park. We've sung that song all over the United Nations, wherever people would listen to bring about indigenous rights, you know, to, to recognize our sovereignty and hopefully ensure that we have a right to exist on this planet, not just for us, but for our future generations. But with this song, you know, we want to recognize all the amazing people here at the grassroots community that are doing hard work. You know, I know there's career politicians here, but then there's people here at the grassroots level that have done, sacrificed life, comfort, everything for their community, for the love of their family in this nation. So with this song, we're gonna sing, it's called Take a Stand.
forgotten ourselves We're lost in this world Strangers to each other Culture lost its land Convenience and greed Have a place to show And tomorrow's children Won't know us anymore Thank you. I want to brag on my dad a little bit. I don't think my brother did. So our father um, actually is an Arizona living treasure. And I, yeah, it's OK. And he's also recognized by the hoop dance competition in Phoenix at the Heard Museum as being the first Living Legacy Award honoree for all of his work to preserve and to protect our traditions and teaching young people the hoop dance as well. And this next song is kind of a beautiful roundabout way of connecting our ancestry as a Indigenous people as Diné, my mom and my dad, my mother has roots going Our back mother. to Kiev, to Kiev, Ashkenazi roots. And there's a song that, that came to, to our attention. And it's such a, a unique story because I remember trying to learn this melody. It's in the cherry garden. 
and it's a Ukrainian folk song, and I'm humming it and trying to, to learn the melody. And as I'm humming this, my, my mom stopped in her tracks because her grandfather used to sing that as a lullaby to her when she was in a rocking chair. You know, and my grandfather, great-grandfather, would have immigrated from, from Kyiv. And this song is just a beautiful opportunity to, for us to reconnect with some of our roots and to fuse from what we've grown up with here in, in North America with our European ancestry as well. Just such a beautiful way of reconnecting. And we want to dedicate it to the people of Ukraine and to all people. All people who have been displaced by war and who are refugees. We got one more we're going to do with our father. This is called, What Do You See? And it's about, for us, carrying on culture. There's such an important aspect that, as indigenous people, you know, the fact that we're still here, that we still have our languages, our cultures, and that we're able to reconnect. Um, I know there's so many powerful movements that are happening. So much, you know, from the Arctic, protecting the Arctic wildlife refuge, all the way down through and almost every single state here in this nation, every tribe has a powerful legacy of 
not just resistance, but standing up for their sovereignty to, to be recognized. But at the and core of it- And cultural continuation. Yeah, at the, the core of it is just existing, the right to exist, to be here, just as the fish or the grass or the water, all these sacred things that are within our, our natural world, just to be able to be a part of that. This song is called, What Do You See? It's about reconnecting that culture identity. Jones-Benali. 
So we'd like to invite our third generation onto the stage now. Please help us to welcome Bahia and Deji. This song is called Fight Like a Woman. And coming from a matriarchal society, I know I'm not the one to, to speak, but my grandmother, Roberta Blacko, all of our, our grandmothers, they were the head, the leaders. This is how I was raised, to respect, to honor, and acknowledge. In this song, Fight Like a Woman, today, more than ever, the voices. So to have my daughter on a song, to have her come and sing with something that I wrote to empower and give her strength. This is one of those proud daddy moments that Aww. I'm taking a snapshot and forever sealing it right here in my heart. And I have a proud mama moment as well for my daughter.
energy. We got time for one more song. This song is called We the People. This is a song for healing, bringing back all nations, all peoples. And uh, I just want to do a quick shout out tomorrow at the Indian, the American. Native. See, I'm not good with acronyms. I'm dyslexic, so I can't say acronyms, but. Museum of National America. Oh, no, now you've got me confused. And MAI, National Museum of the American Indian. So Interstate is going to be there representing. We've got the Southwest in the house. This is powerful and beautiful. We're so honored. Delbert Anderson, the Delbert Anderson Trio. If you don't know who they are, please check them out as well. Representing the voice of indigenous nations here. There's a strong representation. So please come talk to us afterwards. We'll be at the table. Um, check out all of our socials. But this is a song about all of us as Diverse as our nation is, is called We the People. Yeah.
my brother Clayson Benali. Janita Benali, we are Seahaw Syndicate. We love you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming shows, please check out the Kennedy Center website or Facebook page. If you would like to support tonight's artists further, they will be selling merchandise as you exit the theater. As we 